Greetings, unsettled souls, and welcome to The Correct Views. Sam I. B. DeGangi reporting for the Media Speaks, and I want to thank all of you for tuning in very, very much. Do me a favor. Hit subscribe. Do so now. Why? Because you're going to miss all the regular Fukushima stuff that I do throughout the rest of the month if you don't. We're going on, uh, going on day number two here. I haven't eaten in over a day because, uh, Christelle is sleepy and not cooking and therefore I'm starving. We're going to see how it goes on an empty stomach. I'm empty tomorrow afternoon. Um, it's 4.30 in the morning, not good. Infowars.com and nuclear workers, government waiting for U.S. to die to avoid medical costs. This is for all the people that think that the issues that we're dealing with uh, regarding the nuke industry in Japan is something that is irrelevant to the United States. That things like this could not happen in the United States. Well, as this article by the very talented Mikhail Phelan will point out, that is simply not the case. Former and current employees of Washington State Hanford Nuclear Waste Sites say the federal government is waiting for them to die in order to avoid paying out disability benefits. Speaking with King 5 News, the group revealed how they have been repeatedly denied help despite being promised benefits under the U.S. Department of Labor, Energy, Employees, Occupational, Earnest Compensation Program. Maybe that's because their name is too long. I've fought and I've fought and I've fought them, and it's a losing battle, said Ron Stevens, a 20-year employee now suffering from COPD cancer and kidney failure from the safe nuclear industry. They're running and hiding and denying and denying and denying, and they don't care, and all of this money's coming out of my pocket. And that's what's irritating me bad. Well, not the fact that they told you it was safe and juiced you with kidney cancer or kidney failure. Incredibly, even though members of the group display clear symptoms of exposure to radiation, toxins, and heavy metals, the federal government claims that their work in Hanford has not been a significant factor in causing, contributing, or even aggravating their symptoms. No, of course not. That's because Hanford is tied into the nuclear industry, which is tied into bomb making, which has lied to us since the very beginning. I just think that we're all getting a raw deal. I don't know but why, but they hire somebody that really don't know me. They don't know any of us, but is going to stamp and reject on your form, said Scott Passage, currently battling severe COPD. Sick workers lucky enough to avoid constant delays and denials are often asked to wait up to seven years for financial help, according to the 2010 government audit. I could die in six months. My lungs are going that fast, and I worry about my wife, that's all, said Terry Wattenberger, who has lost more than 70 pounds due to the removal of his stomach. I didn't even know that you could do that. Two types of cancer, COPD and muscle disease, all caused by the absolutely safe nuclear industry. Dale Greer, a 26-year-old veteran of Hanford suffering from COTB and toxic encephalopathy, managed to hold on for five years before finally receiving assistance for his lungs. Yeah, it's nothing to do with you working at Hanford. Let me ask you something. Does anybody listening to this have that many people where you live with, or where you work with cancer and COPD at the same time? No, absolutely no one. Again, brought to you by the safe nuclear industry. I am sick every day. I hurt from the time I get up until the time I go to bed, Greer said. Despite several doctors also telling Greer that his toxic encephalopathy is directly linked to Hanford, the Department of Labor continues to deny his claim. They, the government, can outweigh, outlast, and outspend any of the workers that I've seen, said Dr. Brian Campbell, a neuropsychologist who has evaluated countless Hanford employees. Yeah, we won't listen to the doctor. We'll listen to the wise people on the payroll of the nuke industry at Hanford. We'll trust the Department of Labor. When asked, all members of the group even said they believed the federal government was simply waiting for them to die. They promised us if we did get sick, uh, they'd take care of us. But And now they kind of just, you don't count now. Out of the mix, out of the union, it ain't right, it ain't right, Passage said. 
The situation at Hanford is almost identical to the current VA scandal, where sick military veterans are denied help and left to die into the government-run health care. Again, I don't know why the vets don't not go to the VA and go to a different hospital. I've said that forever, but the point is clear. Um, Los Angeles Register dot com Santa Free Nuclear Power Plants fuel rods to remain on the site for years. Oh, but Fukushima's only in Japan, Sam, right? And don't worry, for those of you that tune in for the uh, the Fukushima, trust me, you'll be getting tons of it. Even after the wind the twin domes along I five are gone and Santa Free Nuclear Plant is mostly a memory, fuel rods hot with radioactivity will remain behind in rows of tomb like casks, perhaps for decades, just waiting to be washed or earthquaked away like Fukushima. The shuttered plant is in the early stages of an estimated four billion decommissioning process. The dome's reactor is now empty of fuel and seal, thankfully. Massive turbines that once pumped electricity, poison might I add, through the Southern California power grid are silent. Giant steam turbines once too hot to touch are cold. And a small crew walks in darkened halls, machine shops, and empty yards readying the plant for the decades-long deep dismantling. Oh, that sounds safe. It's better than having it run, though. There's something called cold and dark, said Jim Madigan, Southern California Edison's technical advisor to the plant's chief nuclear officer, describing the ultimate goal of the decommissioning process. The decommissioning project manager says now we're kind of dim and cold. Yeah, well, cold and dark is what happens when your plant melts down, and uh, and that's that's cold and dark. Uh, Madigan, a 33-year Edison employee, that means do not invest in Edison. That is how you stop these things from happening. You pull your money away. That's why I'm talking into a camera and a computer. The generators were switched out for brand new ones in $670 million upgrade between 09 and 11, but the generators proved to be defective. Well, at least we know it's nice and safe for the other parents that got them. That kept both of the plant's reactors shut down after January 2012 as costs and uncertainties mounted. Edison, who you do not want to invest in, announced the permanent closure of the plant June 7th, 2013. Occasionally, it says there are uh, the people shutting down the plant are going into the fish elevator. It's an occasional savvy sea lion wanders in to catch the fish, or when they're ready to leave, they climb into the elevator. The elevator lifts fish out of the pool so they can be returned to the ocean. It's part of the cooling system. The ocean water cooling system is still operating, but no longer to cool the plant's steam generators, but it is used all now only to cool the two pools that house the plant's spent fuel rods. Yeah, well, the system once pulled in more than 1 billion gallons of ocean water per day. Now it's down to 25 million gallons. And if anything happens over the years and years it takes to get this done, then, well, you know, we're all on our own. It's, it's every man for himself because it's going to take them forever to get it shut down. And uh, why does that matter so much? Because we don't know. We know for sure that the earthquake, not the tsunami, caused many of the problems at Fukushima. All we need now is it for it to happen here while any of these plants are just sitting here or in their cold shutdown, which just means that the uh, they're not making energy, but they're still giving off energy that we can barely control in the form of radioactive poison. Why does it matter if Fukushima nuclear boss dies of cancer? This is a dated story. But I love, I saw this ad, I think I mentioned it yesterday, this article, I should say, that said that there were no deaths related to Fukushima. The nuclear plant chief who led the life-risking battle to, sub, to stabilize the crippled Fukushima reactors in Japan two years ago died of esophageal, esophageal cancer. This is Sky.com. Again, it's dated. This is not new, but I'm going over it because some people found themselves wanting to question me. 10 July 2013, as a matter of fact. Masao Yoshida, 58, died on Tuesday in a Tokyo hospital, spokesman for the nuclear plant's owner, Temco Power Company, said. Officials said the illness was not connected to radiation exposure. No, 58-year-old men always die of esophageal cancer, and there's always tons and tons of people with cancer everywhere you go in the high numbers that you see at nuke plants. Only there isn't. Mr. Yoshida, an engineer, was in charge of the Fukushima Daiichi plant in March 2011. So, the only people that say that it wasn't connected there were the TEPCO officials. The doctors, meanwhile, are all but screaming that it's what caused it. 
Recalling the first days when the three reactors suffered meltdown in succession, Mr. Yoshida later said there were several instances when I thought we were all going to die here. Am I happy that he died of cancer? Absolutely not. I'm not a sicko. But this is what you get when you work in a place. When common sense intelligent people like me are telling you it's not safe to be in. It's death trap, people. It's a death trap. Guys, um... Do me a favor, we're halfway through the uh, part two of the two-day massive Fukushima update. Make sure that you uh, go to themediaspeaks.com. Look at all the work that we're posting there. If I'm pointing to you, you're on low def. If you're not watching live, and I thank you if you are, then you might want to watch this when it posts a, like a day later at themediaspeaks.com because you guys are the high def. Um, also, go to uh, facebook.com, look up Mike McLaughlin. Because when you do look up Mike McLaughlin, you're going to find one of the best fiction writers extant today. Also, go to uh, Amazon.com. Look up a pers persuasive essay called Risen, a short horror story called The Lucky Leprechaun, or a long uh, spooky novel called Asleep Unknowing. I've written all of them. Christelle's going to be coming up in a little bit with uh, an envelope that's going to go to the ISO so that... You, you watching this, and I get thousands of views on the Fukushima. Go to the Department of Education's website somewhere on Facebook and leave a comment that says, why did you send back the correct views dunce cap of the month? Send one. Take a screenshot, take a picture on your phone, post it on my Facebook page, facebook.com slash the correct views, and I'll give $5 to your favorite charity. For more on that, go to uh Correct views, youtube.com slash the correct views. Look up the free money show. All right, guys, Japan Times, Ayako Mai writes Japan on the verge of legalizing war as Kamito bends. Never mind the fact that if China or Korea so much as set off a firecracker, they're going to bring down uh, half the units that are barely standing at Fukushima now. Um, and Japan, and rightly so, the, the islands are, in fact, the Japanese people's islands that they're fighting over. The trouble is, Japan does not need to start a pissing match for the like, next 30 or 40 years because they decided to build a nuclear power plant that melted down four or five times on the ocean. So they don't get the privilege of defending themselves because they were stupid. Because nuclear is stupid. And any country that does it is making an awful decision as I'm pointing out to you rather clearly here. Japan is set Tuesday to legalize waging war even when under, not under a direct attack. It is a drastic departure from its post-war position in that the war renouncing constitution prohibits exercising the right to collective self-defense. Basically, Japan is not allowed to uh, hold a military in the same way that other people are due to the way they abused it in World War II by siding with Hitler. But the trouble is these islands, and it's basically, it's China trying to take over islands that aren't theirs because that's what communist countries do. Um, Japan is feeling the need now to defend itself. Well, all they have to do is get a bomb anywhere near the Fukushima plant, and goodbye all of Japan for all of, uh, all of history, we might as well say, forever. So the stance that they're trying to take now might have worked if they had listened to people that said not to build a nuclear power plant on the ocean's coast. It says the Japanese public is dubious. Yeah, I bet they are because they're understanding that now is not the time for them to try to move ahead with something like this because it's going to be an unmitigated disaster. Let's face it, North Korea can't even wipe its own ass. But if it manages to do so, if the toilet paper they used hits Unit 4 in Japan and Fukushima, then Japan just lost the war. It's that simple, people. Uh, the last two are from Fukushima Diary to close out here our massive Fukushima update. If you don't know about Fukushima Diary, go there. Uh, the man is a wonderful person. He escaped from uh, Japan and has written about it daily ever since. Um, Fukushima citizen, skin of legs falling off since 311. Go to Wikipedia and look up the Mavec disaster when it happened in Russia and the communists denied that it happened. Um, one of the things that were reported among the people before the government admitted that it happened was the skin, quote, sloughing off their bones. Basically, your skin just falls off of you. 
while the same isotopes in close to the same concentrations, whether they say it to you or not, it happens from the seafood, it happens from the air or the jet stream. The same toxins that are causing this story that I'm about to read are washing right over to the west coast of the country. Am I saying that you can't live in Hawaii, the coast of Oregon, Alaska, California? Yes, that's exactly. Washington? Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. I'm glad we're on the same page. The Fukushima citizen of this post, and there's a picture of it here, heap of removed soil. Uh, keep in mind, this is originally written in Japanese, so it doesn't flow in the receptor language, as Hank Hanegraaff says of English. The heap of removed soil for decontamination piled up right behind a residential street in Fukushima commented on Twitter that the skin of his legs has been badly damaged and falling off. He also added a picture. So we've got the skin falling off of people's legs while GE tells us, and that is TEPCO, how very safe it is. Thank you. I will definitely get to that in a moment, my dear. Christella with uh, some proof for the end of the show here. It says, I have some symptoms on my legs. Both of my legs have been badly damaged since 311. This is not good news, people. This is very, very bad news. It says, another person, I have a similar symptom too. What's worse, the back of my knees is having the skin falling off like atopic dermatitis, like the Mavac disaster. It's documented fact, people. This is not Sam the long-haired guy from the band's opinion. This is scientific fact. It can't be argued with. What's worse, the back of my knees is having the skin falling off. I remember read that. Uh, there's also a related article. Basically, they're storing the contaminated dirt in residential areas, creating massive hot spots of radiation that's causing people's skin to fall off. Why they're still living there, I couldn't tell you. And don't tell me they're all too poor, too. I have enough sympathy for the poor. I'm the, These are the, the stupid. The, I, my home is here. I'm going to die here. I don't get it. Um, FukushimaDiary.com. JRL serves Fukushima candy for free on board. Support by eating the dumdy of the day. Adolf Hitler was famous for killing his own people. Stalin, famous for killing his own people. Ditto on Mao. Ditto on Nero, who uh, Jesus Christ probably referred to as the major antichrist. These people that are feeding this candy to their people in order to boost the economy and prove the safety of Fukushima are just as evil as Stalin, Mao, Hitler, Nero. You go right ahead. Yes, I'm on record for saying it. They get the dumb the other day. A former NHK announcer, Hari June, posted on Twitter that JAL, Japanese Airlines Company Limited, that means not only do they get the dumb of the day, it means I want you listening to this to send emails, I want you to send tweets, I want you to call Japanese Airlines Company Limited and ask why they're poisoning people, where they're serving Fukushima apple candy on board. Ask them why they're doing it, people, otherwise I'm wasting my time doing these videos. I'm giving you the information, ask them why they're doing this. Ask them. Hold them accountable. Pull your money out of their stocks. Pull your money out of anything that they're in that might be a mutual fund. Jumped on the plane to Jal to find something yummy. The paper says, uh, Japan Airlines Company Northeast Japan Support Project. These are candies made of Fukushima apples. Feel free to take one. Yeah, why don't you put a bullet in a gun and ask them to feel free to play Russian roulette? You won the dumb deal of the day. Japan Airlines Company Limited, people, go ahead and get on it. Let them know you heard about it and you're furious because they're poisoning their own people like Hitler did. Friends, I want you to uh, go to the Department of Education's website. Leave a message. If you have to, leave it in the comment line of another uh, post. Ask, why did you send the Dunce Cap of the Month back to the correct views? If you do so, one, two, three, four, five dollars will go to your favorite charity. Just like Illuminarities. ISO Quality Services Limited. ISO. Right here. Getting a free check. A free $5 in cash, I should say. Why? Because they went to the Department of Education and Illuminarity asked, Why did you send back 
the correct views dunce cap of the month award take a picture of it leave that picture at facebook.com slash the correct views and let me know what your favorite charity is you'll get five dollars donated to it i'm doing it all the way up to the big 50 friends you can donate to the show at the correct views at hotmail.com you can help me by hitting subscribe going to the mediaspeaks.com looking up the work of mike mclaughlin and buying my works at amazon.com the more you help me, the better show that I, in turn, am able to give you. Thank you, my friends, for trusting me with your Fukushima news. I hope I never let you down. Good night, friends. God bless. I mean it.